mundane intelligence or average person responded to it. According to Buddha Gosa, the idea of the Theravada question is that when Buddha's speech worked on mundane objects, it cannot be super mundane. Other controversies of the Buddha relate to that of his powers. The first deals with an Anhaka proposition that the powers of Buddha are common to his disciples. It is disputed that all can share insight into the extinction of mental influence, but Buddha alone distinguishes the degrees of development in controlling the powers. The assertion that through enlightenment one becomes the enlightened is yet another disagreement. Theravadins state that it is by virtue of enlightenment that an individual becomes the enlightened. Then it follows that, by virtue of cessation, suspension, subsidence of enlightenment, he ceases to be the Buddha. The Bodhisattva controversy recorded in the Katavatu are part of a larger complex of ideas and problems which include those relating to both the Arahant and the Buddha. It was said that Buddha never visited this world personally, but instead his illusory form appeared on this earth and delivered the doctrine. The Bodhisattva controversy discussed in the Katavatu questions simply, if an individual is gifted with the 32 characteristic marks of a Bodhisattva, does that mean they are destined to become one or not? Buddha himself said that for one gifted with the 32 marks of a superman, only two careers lie open to him. If he lives the household life, he becomes a Chakravarti ruler. But if he chooses to reject the household life, he becomes an Arahant, Buddha Supreme. With free will, does a bodhisattva decide to take rebirth into a state of woe and undertake the difficult course of life he, the bodhisattva, destined prior to his last birth? It is verified by the Anhaka that the bodhisattva undertakes difficulties and hardships, performs hard tasks, and works penance under alien teachers of his own accord and free will. The Pali Canon is made up of three sections, the Vinayana Pitaka, Sutta Pitaka, and Abhidhamma Pitaka. Of these three sections, the Abhidhamma Pitaka, or Book of Higher Teachings, attempts to organize the teachings of the suttas throughout its seven chapters. One of these chapters deals with the points of controversy among the teachings of the Buddha, the Katavatu. Throughout the Katavatu, 216 controversies amongst the Buddhist community are addressed. Of these, some prominent issues are in regard to the concept of Arahanthood, the concept of Buddhahood, and the concept of Bodhisattva. Some issues that were addressed were the hypothesis that an Arahant can fall away from Arahanthood, the possibility of defilement, and the knowledge of an Arahant. All these issues were addressed and debated in the Katavatu to help followers grasp a better understanding of possible confusions. Many started questioning the Buddhahood by stating that the Buddha's speech was supramundane, as well as stating that the Buddha was common to his disciples in regard to his powers. Finally, there was the claim that by reaching enlightenment, that individual becomes the enlightened. There is question of the characteristic marks of a bodhisattva, and whether that declares who they are simply because one has these characteristics. Buddha said that if one carries these traits, there are two paths for one to walk down, to become a Chakravarti or an Arahant. Also, does the Bodhisattva decide to go through with rebirth? And if so, is one destined to a certain position in life? Does the Bodhisattva undertake difficulties on his own accord? The construction of the Katavatu was to help face the challenge of religious skepticism. Of these few issues, and many, many more.